A growing trend among kids and teens may be damaging more than just their lungs. Researchers at a local hospital say more and more kids are jumping on the jewel train. Care for Hillary Hunt joining us in studio with more on this. Hillary, what's going on here? Bob, well, we all know nicotine is highly addictive, but according to the CDC, it can also harm kids' brain development, which continues into their early and mid 20s, something UAMS researchers say parents really need to be aware of. I think it's just a horrible trend. When they expose themselves to nicotine, their brain actually creates receptors. Changes to the brain, which can change behavior. But when they go for a while without the nicotine, that same receptor starts to send out signals um, that make them uncomfortable. They get irritable, they can't focus. Nicole Ward at UAMS has spent the past four years exploring more than just lung damage when it comes to using one of these things. Issues that are now being found in our youth and having lasting effects. If you're doing those things and you're not able to be alert in class, you're missing out on things. According to the CDC, between 2011 and 2018, the number of teens who started vaping increased from 220,000 to just over 3 million. A lot less damage and a lot less harm. Tanner Austin, a former cigarette smoker, says vape pens like the Jewel have helped him step away from the even more harmful packs. But adds he is concerned the design and the appeal of vaping may get kids hooked who would have never touched a cigarette. Be able to put it in your pocket and hide it from your parents and everything. They don't smell like a cigarette. As for Ward, she encourages parents to pay attention to some signs to stop a possible addiction in its tracks before the damage is done. They're spending less time. Um, engaged with the family. They're wanting to be alone more. They have um, unexplained irritability over time that's not consistent with their normal behavior. Um, that those might be some signs. Important signs to look out for. UAMS is currently conducting a number of group studies at the hospital using Arkansans to further their research on the harmful effects of e-cigarettes. Bob and Ashley